Hello, and welcome to the introductory course for Animation Paper, a simple and powerful tool for creating hand-drawn animation on PC and Mac. First of all, let's get familiar with the interface. Now, when you start a new project in Animation Paper, you'll be greeted with a blank scene. The default setting for a scene is Full HD, 1920 by 1080p. But if you have specific needs for a certain type of scene or size of scene, you can change it after the fact, or if you want to just start out from that particular setting, we can just go to resolution. Right now my resolution is set at 2K. Your projects can range from small to large, HD, even up to 8K if your hardware can support it. Animation Paper's interface is designed to be simple, straightforward, and direct, so you can start creating in a very intuitive way. So let's talk about this top bar up here. These are the erasing tools. We have kneaded eraser, rubber eraser, vinyl eraser, pencil, marker, and brush. Here are our navigation tools, jump to start, step back, play, step forward, jump to end, and current frame number. In the toolbar here on the left, you'll find several icons, the first being the pencil tool, which selects the last drawing tool you had selected. Also, the eraser functions in a similar manner just beneath it. Your light table, which will show you the onion skinning between drawings. The hand tool, you can move your canvas around a little bit and make it into a comfortable position, followed by the zoom tool, which you can zoom in on your drawings, enabling you to get at fine levels of detail. Let's zoom back out to show the rotation tool so you can get that right angle for you when you're drawing uh, according to natural wrist movement. On the side here you'll find the exposure sheet or X sheet which is where you will keep track of your drawings, your layers, and the timing for your animation. If you notice this small icon up here at the top you can choose your layer color. Defaults are the traditional colors that you would use in hand-drawn animation black, blue, red, and green. So let's add a couple of layers by pushing N, and then this one will remain blue. We'll change this one to red, and we'll change this one to green. So if I'm on the blue layer, I'll be able to draw a, a character or something in blue, and these are just really fast drawings. If you want to draw something in red, like say red is traditionally used for trace backs, or if you want to draw something with the green, you can just go ahead and draw on the green, and that color will reflect in your drawing on the canvas. So I'm just going to clear these drawings out really quick by pushing Shift-8, or the asterisk sign, and I'm going to delete these layers. In the menu, go to X-Sheet, Delete Layer, or Control-Shift-Delete. Command-Shift-Delete on Mac. Now I'm going to add some drawings here. Then we're just going to do a very quick bit of bouncing ball animation. Turn the light table on, and we're just going to have it go back in space a little ways. And that's where it's going to bounce to. Now on the bottom, now that I've added drawings, it's easy to see the timeline down here where you can sort of scrub through your drawings and you can see how they relate to one another. Thank you for watching this brief overview of Animation Paper, the first in a series that will go into the tools and features of the software more in depth to get you up to speed and animating quickly.